had a sudden cardiac arrest die because they don't get CPR from someone close by. The American Heart Association hopes to change that with hands only CPR. News Channel 5's Mike Trim shows us how it's done and introduces us to a man whose life was saved. My life was saved, and I woke up in the hospital and I had friends there. Now, let me hold on for a second. It's a story Tom Maimon of Delray Beach still finds very hard to tell. I dropped dead in the guy's driveway. I had what was called a sudden cardiac arrest. CPR saved his life. If it wasn't for the American Heart Association, I mean, I can tell you that I would not be here talking to you today. Maimon exercised regularly, but while on a run a few years ago, the 52-year-old's heart stopped. A passerby gave him CPR, and that passerby administered something called hands-only CPR. If you're in the same situation, here's what you should do. The first thing you want to do is call 911 so the paramedics can get on their way. And for hands-only CPR, then you want to put the heel of your hand in the middle of the chest, your other hand on top of it, and just start pumping hard and fast. In fact, the American Heart Association says, remember the song, Stayin' Alive by the Bee Gees, has about 100 beats per minute, and that is the rhythm you want to stay with. While taking an official CPR class is the best route, Palm Beach County Fire Rescue Staff Captain Charles Coyle says hands only helps. But it does give us um, a, little, a little light in hoping that the patient was actually, um, there, there was blood circulating because that's really at the end of the day what CPR does. And time matters. Every minute CPR isn't given, your chances of surviving drop 10%. Just ask Maimon how important it is. People don't understand how easy CPR is to do now. It's hands only. You can't do it wrong. The person is going to die if you don't do something. And that day he almost died, Maimon says he's glad someone did something so simple to save his life. Mike Trim, WPTV News Channel 5.